being compared to Jim Everett, Bobby Newcomb, and some of the other top quarterbacks to ever play high school ball in New Mexico. He threw for over 3,400 yards and 45 touchdowns his junior season, and he's named after one of the most famous coaches in NFL history. Here's Lee Faria with a look at Artesia's Landry Jones. He's ranked as the number one recruit in the state of New Mexico. There's only one catch. He's already committed to the Oklahoma Sooners. He is Landry Jones, the quarterback of the Artesia Bulldogs, and he says it was a pretty easy choice. My grandparents live there, my aunt lives there, my uncle lives there. So, and then um, they always compete for national championships. Uh, it's also a good academic school. Um, some other factors in there. I mean, it's just a great all-around school. He has all the attributes to be a great quarterback. Size, arm strength, accuracy, footwork. But what's special about Landry Jones? His leadership qualities. The number one thing we're looking for in a quarterback is leadership. And if you find those leadership uh, qualities, then a young man will work hard enough to be good enough. Again, not, not going to be the, the caliber of Landry is just by working hard, but uh, we're going to find young men year in, year out that are willing to work hard enough to be good at throwing the ball. Velocity or accuracy? Accuracy, definitely. Why? You can throw the ball through a barn door, but if you can't put it on the knob, the receiver's not going to catch it. Bulldogs are the 4A defending state champs, and Jones says even though he has the Oklahoma scholarship in his back pocket, he'll do everything in his power to take Artesia to another state title. In Artesia, I'm Lee Faria, New Mexico Game Day. With me again, Seville football coach Judge Chavez. You have a pretty good quarterback of your own, Jonathan Mater. Johnny Boy, JB, I guess is, is what you call him. He's also friend, friends with Landry. Talk about your own quarterback and what kind of skills he's got. Well, you know, he's got a big, strong arm. He's uh, six foot four, 215 pounds. He can hurt you also running the ball. Um, he's a team leader out there, but I think his strengths are really he's a student of the game. He gets together with the coaches and coaches often helps us game plan for the week. And, uh, you know, it's like having another coach out on the field, and it's, it's a big asset when you've got somebody who can take control out in the huddle and out on the field. Well, 1-0 on the season so far. Good luck next week against Piedra Vista. Always a pleasure to be here, Dean. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you check out our website. We've got a new feature this year. We are podcasting our show. If you're interested in downloading it, it will be posted Saturday morning. Go to nmgameday.com and follow the instructions. That is going to do it for another edition of New Mexico Game Day. Keep it here for all your high school sports action. Have a good one. Yeah.